Well, the first thing I can say is today is not quite going as planned, or rather today is going as planned, but this part isn't going as planned. A uh, thingy thing, who you see in front of you, had agreed to perform for the camera a number of dance moves, and what has happened is I've come here and found thingy thing frozen in this particular position. Now, the first thing I thought of was thingy thing showing off, because... Uh, a couple of episodes back, we came face to face with a young lady frozen in the act of showing off. Well, it turns out that Thingy Thing wasn't showing off. Thingy Thing is big, as you see. But as big as Thingy Thing is, Thingy Thing is even more sensitive. And somebody said something to Thingy Thing. Uh, thingy Thing won't tell me exactly. Says it's impossible to repeat those words. And the result is that uh, Thingy Thing has stage fright or camera fright. It's frozen in this position here. Arms covering the head, blocking the ears as if to say, I do not want to be here. Yeah, well, what can I say? I mean, I've spent the last 30 minutes trying to convince Thingy Thing to come out of this state. I've even shared... Um, memories of my own stage fright. Uh, of course, they're long ago. Um, but that didn't help. I even told Thingy Thing this thing about having fun. You know, if, you're, if you have an idea, if you have some, some way you want to express yourself, then enjoy doing that. And uh, in your enjoyment, trust that there'll be somebody else in the audience who gets it, who, who, who connects with something you're doing. Even if the feelings that it generates in them are not what you expect. Um, still, you should have fun. So I've said that to Thingy Thing, and Thingy Thing simply ain't budging. And I do have sympathy, I must say, even though I really wish I could have shown you the dance moves, but uh, such are things. But the sympathy is there because I tell stories at a place called Mesrap, which is a uh, Yes, it's where people tell stories. And you do see various forms of stage fright. Um, one of the shows that we have, uh, an open stage one, uh, somebody once completely forgot, she got a bit into a story and just completely froze. And um, I, I think about that, how does that happen? How you somehow concentrate on the unknown, that is, what you think is the unknown, the ideas of people, the way people are looking at you, some kind of a judgment about is it going to be good enough, etc., etc. And you concentrate on that and completely lose track of what you're actually meant to do. And that is just have a good time. And uh, good time doesn't mean laughing, but I mean just do it the way you think it should be done and uh, learn from that. So I see that sometimes, you know, you see <laughs> some people come in and first thing they say is how nervous they are they're going to tell the story and that nervousness never leaves it becomes a thing um, and you have some you know everyone has their way I, I, I don't get nervous but I do disappear into a dark hole and can get a bit snappy and grumpy if you <laughs> if you try and talk to me before I'm going to tell a story so that's uh, yeah that's why I'm not immune but once um, you get on stage then I think the, the plan should be to just be absolutely free. And this probably doesn't, it, this isn't just for storytelling, I think it's just for life. It's it, easier said than done, I admit. But I think the aim should be to be able to live your life as you feel you should live it. Uh, it shouldn't involve destroying or hurting other people. I mean, that's my belief. But I feel for the rest, you should just, you know, enjoy. So whether you're presenting some new ideas in a board meeting or uh, explaining a design or a paper to a professor or just talking to friends, I think you should be free at all times. So on that uh, note, I think we're going to have to say goodbye to Thingy Thing. Uh, thingy Thing, I hope you get better soon, feel better soon, feel willing to bounce around again. And um, also goodbye to all of you. So see you next time.